The King of Kindergarten, written by Derek Barnes, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. The King of Kindergarten. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a golden brush to clean ye royal chicklets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far-off villages of Osh and Kosh. But gosh, you'll be ready to reign. My baby is heading to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, Daddy will say. And he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I, he'll say. One day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. What's the big yellow carriage? The school bus. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember Mommy saying, Hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile. For you are the king of kindergarten. And when he looks in the door, or sorry, in the window, no, that's the door. When he looks, he sees his reflection, but he sees himself wearing a crown. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. Welcome to kindergarten. And I know I certainly have a personal connection to this. This is what we would do. I would stand outside the door and greet my students every morning with a hug, handshake, or high five. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi, like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful hi, everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. The banner says, welcome students. Your teacher will go over classroom rules and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Whew, it sounds like a lot. But you're the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite, chocolate pudding, with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks, and you won't mind at all, because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? Now the, the sign says, be awesome. We are kind to each other. I love how they're sharing. After a royal rest, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. Well, in this kindergarten, they still have nap time, but we know that's, that's a thing of the past. There's no nap time in kindergarten. The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. What's dawn? Morning.
journey. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends. My teacher is nice. And recess is the best thing ever. And that typically is the response you get when you ask kids what their favorite part of the day is. Recess, PE, or lunch. And tomorrow, it will begin again. Another day as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind king of kindergarten.